What's going on, people? Troops TV. Back again. And the the win is not here again. You understand? Yeah. I come back and no win. No no loss. You get me? No no loss. Let's get that in. Um we didn't lose, but we didn't win. You get me? Um big up my brother Jets in the cut as usual. Big up my brother Zar, you already know. But yeah, still no still no win in NYC. Um I'm starting to think, am I really the fucking curse blood? Because I went back and we won. And I come back. First game in. Arsenal nil. Crystal Palace nil. Now, people saying Palace part the bus. They did a little. Um, I think the lineup, the only issue was... Um, Gabriel not starting. Um, obviously, Mari yep. and Tini, uh, muscle strain and um, a thigh strain. Muscle strain for Tini, thigh strain for Mari, I think. Or yeah, it was calf. One of them was calf, I believe, if I'm not. But um, no complaints about that. Um, just kind of wondering why we wasn't told this from time ago, blood. Yep. Like up, the whole run up to the game. The only thing that was being spoke of injury wise was Gabriel Martinelli, and if Partey would Who's be, be back or not, would be starting today or Newcastle. That yeah, was the narrative. and yep. if Martinelli's injury was as bad as first thought, and it's come out that Mar uh, Martinelli's injury is fine, he's back in full training. He should be back in the squad for Newcastle on Monday. Partey was obviously on the bench. Um, like I said, the only issue was Gabriel not starting, but defensively wasn't the issue. You get me? Obviously, nil nil, clean sheet. Clean sheet. Um, I think we started off all right. The intensity was there, ideas were there, football was flowing, we was attacking, but we wasn't really creating clear cut chances. I think the first clear cut chance was. Um, the Bellerin incident, when Smith Rowe has worked. Uh, the first chance was probably Abba when he hit it straight the, in the keeper. Yeah. When he cut in, yeah. came in from the, from, from the and left. And then the second chance, that's the clear cut one though. Because yeah. if Bellerin leaves it, Laka's there. And it's, mm -hmm. it's it's reminiscent to the Pogba goal against Burnley, which yeah. we're going to talk about later on. But you get me, a man of his form, a man on his form, Bellerin knows blood. Do you understand? Your thing was, you was like, oh, why did Bellerin go with his left foot? My thing was, why the fuck did he go for it, blood? Mm. you understand? You you saw Laka's reaction straight away. Mm. He was like, bro, do you understand? Smith Rowe put in the ball. It was a deflected ball. I've seen that now that I've watched the game back yeah, again. Perfect. We're literally filming straight after the straight podcast, after but we've watched, our, we've watched it again. Uh, new lighting as well. You get me? We're using Dave's tricks. You understand? New lighting and everything there. You get me? Zara ain't bleaching. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can get away with that shit. You get me? I can get away. I ain't bleaching, <laughs> folks. It's the lights. We're going to talk about someone that we fix bleaching as well. Someone put it out there and we're going to talk about that a bit later. Uh oh Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think someone's bleaching in do the I Premier Do I know this person? You do. In okay. the Premier League player. Oh, plan. the Premier League. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, sorry. I, think this, I think this motherfucker bleaching. Okay. But um, that was probably the only real clear chance you get me. I'm not even getting on Benner's back. I think Benner had a good game. Yeah. I think Bellerin done well. He did. I think he got up and down the flanks. I think he put in a few good balls. Obviously, a few bad balls as he does. I think defensively, he got caught out a few times, but I think he done all right. He you needed help. He, he had his hands full. With, with yeah, Saka. because Saka, um, Saka was just... Saka weren't really um, dropping back as much mm. as he normally does. Mm -hmm. I think Aziz was a fucking problem, blood. That kid there, he, 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 is, he, he is the truth, blood. Mm -hmm. Understand? I think Ainsley had a terrible game. Yeah, I'll be real. I think the only thing he did was silent Zaha while he was on the right hand side. As soon as he moved over to the left, you started getting into the pockets, started getting the better of her uh, oh, Bellerin. Oh, right. You get me? Started pulling Holding out of his position. I think Holding's positioning today was a bit off. You get me? But um, Holding was actually the player with the most shots. And uh, yeah, blood. He had the most shots out of any player today. Wow! And that's our defender. A and he, centre and back. He, and he created the most chances. 
Our most creative player today was Rob Holden. I haven't got into the stats yet, bro. That's just one I know. Top, that's just one I know off the top of my head. Do you understand? Um, first <laughs> half has ended. Um, what was your thoughts on the first half? Uh, just like you, similar so similar to, to what you mentioned. Um, we, we started off very well. We were moving around. We were Our passing game was good. We controlled possession. Yeah. We just could not uh, get that cutting edge ball, that mm. last, last one that gives us the clear cut chance. I believe Saka too had that long range, long range uh, shot, and it was it was a half chance. He came off the, came off the right, cut in from the right, and he hit the long range straight into the keeper. So I, in terms of cutting edge chances, nothing really blown. I was very happy with how stable, how stable our our, our defense was. No real, I mean, a, a heart attack maybe here and there, not not too consistent. But first half, forgot about something. Sorry to break. Sorry yeah, not to, okay. sorry to okay. cut in. Uh, Palace actually had two. Serious chances in that first half as well. Ben, um, Benteke, Benteke, great save from Leno. The, oh, the Leno save, yep. and, uh, and the Tompkins, Tompkins hitting the, the bar off the, off the set piece. You understand? So set. let's. If we're being totally honest, um, Palace had the better clear cut that was, opportunities. That was first half. That was easy. That was easy delivery, right? For 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 Tompkins' header that that crashed off. Was that easy? That took yeah, that was easy. Game? But as soon as that ball came in, I said, brother, and that's why I said second half. You saw Saka taking p- uh, free kicks from that position, yeah, and you saw the balls were not causing no threat. Yeah, the keeper was coming out and getting his hands there on. There was one that for you me, were screaming that you're exactly. Like, Yo, I want a right the, footer on yeah. it. I want the inward Go ball. It so it when makes it easy. Do you understand? It's an it's an outward if, if you're making a left yeah. footer take that from, from that position. You want a right footer so it's coming in. If I remember correctly, you were talking about the heading powers. Like you're forcing exactly. them to have, to have to do power whereas exactly. they can just go with the yeah, ball. Yeah, when it's an in-swinger, when it's an out-swinger, you have to elevate the yeah. power. When it's an in-swinger, the, ball, the power is on the ball. It's on it so already. it's just direction. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? And I think them, yeah, them, them uh, free kicks would have, could, could have maybe, let me put a right footer on it. But... Second half, the only change I would have personally made was Ainsley. I would have mm-hmm. took off Ainsley from half time and put on Pepe and then put Saka to the left because you could see how... F- the reason I was saying to do it at half time was because you could see how high he was playing uh, Ainsley. Mm-hmm. Xhaka was basically the fucking the left, left back. back. Keep filling in, yeah. Do you understand? So Bios is probably our best player going forward in the first half. Um, I'm going to get into some stats in a, in a minute. Um defensively our best player is probably Xhaka do you understand and that's why in the second half now when it started and no changes was made uh, the first change that was actually made was um, it's a bias off right so nah the first change was um, Ainsley for Pepe for Pepe Saka went to left back Pepe went to the right uh, second change was so Ceballos, Ceballos for Partey. For Partey. That one, um, me and you, you was like, why are you taking up Ceballos? Yeah, the I, I, and I said to you that Partey can actually bring the ball forward and make them forward passes like Ceballos. He could probably do it better than Ceballos. Mm-hmm. You understand? People don't... Partey don't get the credit he deserves for his actual passing game. You understand? So that's why he took off Ceballos. And because Ceballos don't have a defensive mind, Jaka is not the best defender, but he's a better defender, in it? And you saw... When Palace was breaking on breaking on us in the second half, that Zaha chance when he's whipped it across for Benteke, mm-hmm. and Holden was behind. Holden was running with Benteke the whole way. But if if Xhaka weren't the one in that middle, Benteke scores that because Benteke was ahead of Holden. That that that. So I totally understood why Xhaka stayed on the pitch, and I'm gonna go into the stats after that. But uh-huh. that's why I was saying to you, nice, cool. The one that had me was the part was uh the part A one because I was like. That's basically like for like. Like we need something different. Like the Saka, the Ainsley for, the one that I, I, I was saying it when I said bring off Ainsley and put on Pepe. That's different. Do mm-hmm. you understand? Mm-hmm. You're putting Saka down to left back, but Saka's still, Saka's a better attacker than Ainsley. So you're still not losing that attacking threat. You're bringing on Pepe, who's more of an attacking threat than Ainsley on the right-hand side. He's looked, he's looked decent in training. You understand? The one that really got me, which made me like, in Ketia. You're chasing a goal, yeah? And you bring off the form player, yeah? The man that's licking off goals, blood, yeah? And you leave on Abba, who, who, who has no form, yeah? I'm with Abba. Everyone saw my thing last night. If you follow me on Insta, you saw me, like, his, uh, he had an interview with Sky Sports and I, like, clipped it mm-hmm. and I just said, like, we're with you, bro. You got this, fam. But in that instance, if you're... For me, Ketia shouldn't even be coming on the pitch. N- no disrespect to Ketia, Nothing personal. We're looking for a goal now, and you bring off, in Ke- you bring off Lacquer, the man that's been firing the goals, scored winning goals, yeah, 
since um this was the first game since Everton, yeah, Everton two one defeat, mm -hmm. yeah, that Laka has not um assisted or scored a goal. Everton was how many games? Let's Everton was the last game that we had before I went home. So, 20th. Wow. So, through the whole of the Christmas run, through January, this is the f and you bring him off. And you bring on Nketiah. When was Nketiah's last goal? Please tell me. Please. <laughs> let Please. Me see, let me see. Please tell me. When was Nketiah's last goal? I, I couldn't even remember. But just to, just to circle back real quick, I mm. disagree with that... Uh, that um, that uh, that 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 the party substitution for Sabias. Sabias was our best player on the field right now. Mm -hmm. You that what that instance that you not in the second you, half. He kind of fell off second half. He, uh, was, he was only he was he only in the second half for, for for what twenty minutes. He, they subbed him in the sixty eighth. Yeah, yeah, but you've had 70, enough time now, haven't you? You've but had a whole but, seventy. No, but his his first half he was yeah, but brother, brilliant. You've had, you've had seventy minutes to create something. You've had seventy minutes, bro. We are not in a state where we can. No, say, I, I okay, get you've that. Got 90 even minutes. even with that, for me, he was so he was the better. He was the better player. Okay, but if he brought off if he brought off Sabias. Is Sabayos doing that work that Xhaka did? To, that's that's to, a hindsight. That's a hindsight is twenty. No, but he's not. It's that's a, fact. a completely no, different a game. No, no, that's no. a completely no, no, no. different game. Hindsight's you, a great thing. You are you are going back to one a specific thing. incident. That's a hindsight. Hindsight's thing. a You're great thing. One specific yeah? incident. Hindsight is a great what? thing. Hindsight is something that we have in life. Yeah. Uh -huh. And for me, Sabayos, he gets caught lacking defensively. Like he's not gonna. And it's not even because he don't try to get back. He's so slow. He's slower than Xhaka. Mm -hmm. And Xhaka's slow. When Tobias runs, it's like he's something's pulling him under the ground when he's running. It's like there's a magnet under the mm -hmm. ground and he's not letting him run fast. Mm -hmm. so when he tries to pull off, it's like, pussy your way out. Go. Mm -hmm. Slow down. <laughs> that me, I said. Yeah, no. no Real talk, though. He, so, he is slow in terms Yeah. So I get the whole bringing, um, picking Tobias to come off out of that. But, there's a man called Meza Ozil, who's still in this club. We're going to have to ask the question, yeah? Who's still in this... Who could have come on, who, who has more... Who has the ability to find that creative ball, that killer ball. But for footballing reasons, that's what they said. I'm going on their mm -hmm. words. Footballing reasons, yeah? He shouldn't be in the squad for footballing. You're telling me, yeah? Partey is more creative than Ozil. Partey. Partey's a don. But creative. Creativity. Yeah? You're telling me Willock was on that bench. You're telling me Willock is more creative than Ozil. Yeah? Apparently. You're telling me, like, do you know what else, yeah? People have been defending in Ketia, yeah? And I, I I don't mind if they're defending in a minute. I've got no problem with Eddie. It's football, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's why you you, you, clock, you clock the way I go at Eddie. I don't yeah, cuss him the way yeah. I cuss Willie and then pussy Yeah, I've never called Eddie a pussy -os. It's not that kind of... You're a cool brother. Mm -hmm. Enough love for you, G. You understand? But people always say that, oh, with the Balogun thing. Oh, Eddie's got a better record in, in the under 23s than Balogun. Eddie had a better record than Saka. Look at Saka now. <laughs> what, what? What's what? What? He had a better, re he had a better record than Smith Rowe. Look at Smith Rowe now. Yeah, that's kind of apples to oranges, though. Willock Compared was striker um, midfielder. Willock was one of um, Leonberg, one of Willock was like one of the main guys as well. Oh, in the in the, in the academy team, yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yeah, Joe, yeah, Joe, Joe. What's he doing now? Yeah. Big up Joe. Joe's cool as well. You, you clock how I don't cuss these man because I'm being like I'm cool. I'm cool with them, isn't mm -hmm. it? I'm not cool with William. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be cool with you. I've never been cool with you. I don't want to be cool with you. I don't even want you to have my fucking our kit on your on your back. Pause. Yeah? But um Yeah. Um an, another game um in NYC with uh no win. I'm gonna get into the stats now. Um I'm gonna get into some positive stats firstly. Um Arsenal extended their winless no to, to, um, um no, this is not positive. This this is the negative one first, sorry. Arsenal extended their winless top flight league run against Palace to five matches. Drawing four of those, one loss. Oh my God. Crystal Palace, this is, this is, a, this is a Crystal Palace stat. Crystal Palace one, yeah. Uh, Crystal Palace have kept consecutive Premier League clean sheets for the first time since a run of four in a row between February and June last year. And here's a positive stat. <laughs> Arsenal have kept four consecutive clean sheets in all competitions for the first time since October 2016, when we had, when we was under the leadership of uh, 
Arsene Wenger. Sir Arsene. Now, a few more stats. Here's one for Arsenal. Like I said to you about Holden being the most uh, attacking threat mm -hmm. in our team. No Arsenal player had more shots to or created more chances to than Rob Holden against Crystal Palace. So was the header, it was that header. He had two headers, remember? Oh, okay. Yep, yep. I remember the second one. Uh, a stat for Crystal uh, Palace, um, because we're not biased over here. Uh <laughs> You get me? No pun intended. By his Premier League show. No pun intended. <laughs> no shots taken as well before you lot try. Oh, Drew just sending shots for Robbie. <laughs> Robbie's the one man I will not send shots for, isn't it? Like, you understand? Um, Crystal Palace have kept back-to-back -back clean sheets in the Premier League for the first time since thing. Yeah, we've done that. Like I said to you about Granite Xhaka now, yeah? Yeah. Granite Xhaka made six tackles against Crystal Palace. The most he's made in, the, in a Premier League game since March 2018 against Man City. Also six. Granite Xhaka's game by numbers for Arsenal versus Crystal Palace. He had the most touches, 129. Yep. Most passes completed, 97. Remember I said to you his passing was on point. Today no, no, he, he, was, did. he played, he played. He was really well. picking he them He played today. very well. Most duels contested, 15. Most ball recoveries, 13. Most duels won, 9. Most tackles, 6. Most clearances, 3. Told you. Nah, he had an immense game. He was immense. There's, there's two, there's, there was two goal lines. So I forgot who it was. I think it was. It was both on Zaha. The first both, one yeah. was Zaha the tackle. The second half was the block. Was, Zaha was through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both, both, yeah, both. He was both in Zaha. He was immense. Mm -hmm. Um, a Birch. Is that how you pronounce his name? A Birchy. A Birchy Is that how you pronounce his first name? Uh, let's, Here you let's go. See how you, let's see how you, how you, how you spell it. How, how would. Uh, Is it a is it a Berchi? Yeah, a a Brechi, a Brechi, a Brechi. A Bre a Bre a apologies for the apologies, apologies for man butchering your name. But Aziz completed a more take-ons, five, and created more chances, three. That's that fucking That's heater fucking banging radiator. in the background again, <laughs> blood. <laughs> in case you don't want to know. Um, this pussy always pops up in my pod. I think he's a racist, blood. <laughs> <laughs> Right, black lives matter, blood. What's wrong with these? It's, lot? it's, a, it's a radiator, by you the way. Me? He's talking about it. It's a, it's <laughs> a racist radiator. It's, it's a radiator. <laughs> it's a racist radiator, blood. Yeah, you understand? You see, I'm quick with them thing there. But um, yeah, Aziz completed more take ons five and created more chances three than any other player against Arsenal. Another good performance from him. Yeah. Uh, James McArthur. Uh, remember, I said to you, James McArthur mm -hmm. running through our midfield. How the fuck is he running through the midfield? Uh, James McArthur made more ball recoveries 13 and more tackles 4 than any other Arsenal than any other player against Arsenal so for his team he was basically the the, 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 the dynamic force the midfield enforcer uh, in that midfield today and like I said about um, Laka um, Alexander Lacazette has failed to uh, has failed to score or assist in a game for the first time since Arsenal's 2-1 defeat to Everton he had scored or assisted in all five of his previous games before this evening. But Arteta took, took him out. Chose to take him off. Um, Arsenal have had more shots, three, in the first 10 minutes of the second half than they managed in the whole of the first half, two. And that's the thing as well. Like, like I said, the first half was very... You understand? It was very possession-based. Mm -hmm. It was very... Everything was in the middle. Like, there wasn't... You understand? That killer ball. Like, and like I said about Ainsley, blood, yeah? How poor he was, yeah? Do you know how poor he was? Ainsley Maitland-Niles misplaced six of his 17 passes in the open in 20 minutes. Jesus. He was all over Jesus. the place today, innit? He almost, he almost had a, he almost had a fucking you know grand what? exit. Yeah, almost scored that uh, that one chance that he had yeah. straight to the keeper. Yeah. Um, do you know who's doing well as well? But I didn't want him for for uh, for Arsenal. Nah, w away from Arsenal. Uh, Palace, a, cr a creative player, Mkhitaryan. <laughs> In Italy. Yep. Do you know he has created? Um, more chances from open play than any other Arsenal player this season. He's created 26. The closest player to him. Saka, let me guess. Tierney. Tierney, 20. okay. 20. Jesus. Would he Never flourish defended. under Arteta? Is he an Arteta player? <sighs> Did we sell him? I, he went on a free, innit? He 
he was, I swear he's he, gone he, now, he, isn't it? Yeah, he is. He so initially he went there on he went loan. on loan. He went there on loan. Then his contract ran out. If and I'm then, not mistaken, yeah, I think they so. picked him up for free. Yeah, there's a free in it. If I'm not mistaken, let me just check. I'm going to check the Wikipedia and see. Because he went out there on loan mm-hmm. in Roma 2020. I think it was six-month loan. Let's see. Roma 2020. Contract. Uh, yeah, cancelled by mutual consent. There we go. Permanent mm. deal. So, you, yeah. so for free. Mm. For free. But, um, yeah, we are in 11th. Uh, we blew the chance to go in the top half of the table. And now... Uh, that causes a little issue because we could drop to 12th if Leeds were to beat um, Brighton on Saturday. Uh, it's looking, yeah, if, if Brighton and Leeds are at home against Brighton and if they beat uh, Brighton, they will jump ahead of us and we will jump, we will drop, sorry, to 12th because they now have a game in hand on us. Um, we could have closed the gap on Chelsea. Uh, we could have gone level on points with Chelsea. Uh, we're now two points behind them. They got a game in hand. We could have gone four points behind Tottenham, but now they're six in front with a game in hand. Um, you see that 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 draw. What well, could really, you get me with with the way we was playing, with that if we had won, we would have been up to tenth. Forget 10th. I'm looking at the point. We would have had 26 have, points. Yeah. Same as Chelsea. We would have been uh, yeah, six yeah. Off, off, off the top four. Do you understand? It's two games. That's two games. We play Leicester again. We can take points off them. They're going to drop points through the season. You get me? But you understand? We we, we, we blew our opportunity, blood. Yeah. No, I tweeted it out before the game started that I can't stress this enough because I looked at those points. I wasn't really focused on the position. I looked at the points and I tweeted out I can't stress in, I can't stress enough how massive the three points is. And that's why I didn't get gassed as well when I was in London with them three three wins in a row in the league, four in a row, all competitions, FA Cup. That's why I didn't get gassed. And this is why. Because I know Arsenal. Yeah, but it's, it's, I can't get gassed with this man. I can't get gassed with it, bro. I I like Abba still ain't scored yeah. when was Abba's last goal in the league Southampton that was his last goal he scored yeah. three goals in the league and before that it was Man United penalty yeah, yeah the penalty yeah. he scored two goals from open play <laughs> like I don't know bro you get me shit's looking mad isn't it I, I shit is looking mad that's all I can really say blood shit is looking mad um, Tottenham uh, drawing 1-1 uh, with Fulham at home. Now, after a great start, if I to be totally honest, from Tottenham, had a few chances. Ariola made a great save from Sun. Son, yep. Um, then he hit the bar to the yep. prickly one that yep. he hit the bar. Um, great ball in from Regulon uh, for, oh, for, for, the for Kane Harry Kane goal. Kane goal, yep. They literally just but, went into their shell. It's yeah. like, um, who was, apart from, apart from a rock, yeah? Who was America's biggest war with? <laughs> Germany, uh, probably. World, World War Two. World War Two. Yeah. What, what, like us, World War Two. World yeah. War Two, yeah. Germany and more so, maybe even Japan in World War Two, probably. Mm-hmm. Afghanistan too. War if, well, if you're going by Afghan and Rock's the same thing. If you're yeah. going by I put, I put Afghanistan and that with the same thing. Said war terror. Mm. I guess. So oh, yeah, it was like Mourinho went to war with Japan. <laughs> you understand? He had everything. He had fucking tanks. He had jets. He had like fucking um the man in um in um camouflage. Mm. He had snipers. He had the fucking he had drones. He had walls. He had drones. drones. <laughs> <laughs> he had everything, blood. Like Expressions was losing his mind. He was like, How how can you go defensive at home against Fulham? Fulham. Like Fulham's recent run of form, yeah? Nil nil against Southampton, one one against Fulham, nil nil against Brighton, one one against fucking New uh, uh, Liverpool, and then a, a two nil defeat to Man City. So they are the draw specialists, yep. yeah. The draw specialists, blood. They won their FA Cup third round game two nil away at um, QPR. 
Easy, but easy was in the stands. <laughs> yeah, easy was in the stands chilling. He should have been on fucking quarantine, the, blood. You get me playing today, fucking, but anyway, should have locked up his ass for the fucking Arsenal game. Mm-hmm. But this is why I didn't. Even though Arteta's defensive, he's not as defensive as Mourinho, blood. Yeah, we're yeah. not gonna go one nil up and park the bus. If we go one nil up, we're going. We're like, yo, two, two. Let's get, let's get the second. All right, we got the second. All right, let's get the third. You get me? He's. I give it to him there. When, when he scores, he's got that pep goes, mentality he where he's like, it. okay, let's go for them now. Yeah. Let's go for the neck. Let's go for the throat. Let's go for the jugular. You understand? It's the best way to defend. Attack is the best form of defense. Yep. Mourinho literally goes one nil at home to Fulham, bro. Like, if Tottenham won, they would have gone back into the top four, blood. They would have gone third. They now sit sixth. Two points out of the top four. Do you understand? I saw some Tottenham female fan, yeah? One of X's brethren. I don't know her name. Her her at's uh Sebaos. Sebaos with an S. Okay. Um she put out a video about Arsenal after we lost, after they beat us at the in the North London Derby. She's 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 some YouTuber. She's like the Sophie Rose version at Tottenham, blood, yeah, Tottenham. but she don't do the only fans thing. I don't know if she does, in it, but you get me. But um she put out a video and she was like, Oi. One minute. Let me try to get the accent. Here we go. Let me try to get the voice. Here we go. And you man need to stop worrying about us in it, yeah? You man need to worry about Brighton and Fulham and their man there, yeah? We're looking at the top in it at our competition. We ain't worrying about you lot, yeah? Brother, did we not slap Brighton and Fulham? Yes, we did, troops. Did let's let's look at Tottenham's form since they beat us, yeah, when she was gassing up herself with her when she was saying it with chess, yeah. You understand? Uh, two 0 winner Antwerp Europa League. Fuck all that. Let's go. Here we go. Palace one one. Liverpool two one defeat. Leicester two 0 defeat. They beat Stoke in the quarterfinal of the EFL Cup. Wolves one one. Leeds three 0 Fair enough. Uh, Semi final win against Brentford. FA Cup against Marine. Fulham one one. Your form in the league dead, gone, non-existent. One win. In one, two, three, four, five. five, five yeah. One win in five against Leeds. You understand? Everyone beats Leeds at home because they're so attacking. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? So you know you just got to pick them off. You get me? Going to Leeds away, different opposition, different opponent. You get me? They say I am the curse of Arsenal not winning. Is she the curse of Tottenham? Tottenham. <laughs> Some may say it because might be. It might be. <laughs> she's lucky she's a female, you know. I would have ripped her clot. I would have ripped her a new one, you know. But I don't want them people coming at me yeah. and trying to blacklist truth. You help. understand? Yep. Like, but you feel me? That's the thing, man. Be- Tottenham falling apart yet again. You understand? Uh, winless in five, like I said. Man City, a team that Zar tried to rule out of the of the Premier League title race. And I told this Walad, City have the capability to go on a on a win, on a win streak of like seven, seven to 10 games, bruv. Yeah? They have now won seven in a row. They have, in I think in their last 12 games, they've kept nine clean sheets. Nine clean sheets, my brother. Yeah? Nine. When you said, "Oh, da, 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 da. I said to you, bro, this is Pep. He will find the formula to get back in the title race. He will not let Liverpool run away with it, especially because Liverpool won it last year. He don't want Liverpool to defend it. He's the only man to defend the title since Fergie, two thousand and when when Man United done the treble, they won it three times. They won it oh six oh seven oh seven oh eight oh eight oh nine. That's the last time somebody defended the league title, blood. Yeah? Because 9 or 10 Chelsea won it. 0 10 or 11 Aguero. No. Was it? No, was it 12? United. 12, right? Oh, uh, 11, 12, Aguero. Aguero. 13, Van Persie. 14, Vardy. the Mourinho comeback. Oh, Mourinho. Then Vardy. 15. 15, 15 was... No, um, no, 14 was um, Man City. Uh, Gerard, we don't let this slip. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Fifteen Damn was me. Mourinho comeback. Sixteen Leicester. Leicester. Seventeen, 17 Mar- uh, Conte. Conte with the eighteen City. Nineteen City. Twenty Liverpool. Liverpool. 
2021. Not Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so you're jumping on the City bandwagon now, yeah? Shout out Phil Foden as well. Did Kevin De Bruyne with another assist. Phil Foden. I think England's future is looking really bright, blood. When you look at the likes of Foden, Saka, Greenwood, Sancho, um, uh, Gomez, Trent, uh, Henderson. Uh, I'm trying to think of midfielders who's still there, blood. Uh, 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 Grealish, Grealish Jack Madison, Grealish, Madison uh, uh, Rashford, uh, Ward Prowse, Kane, Ward Prowse, so Sterling. You get me? Um, the future's looking Declan really, Weiss. really. De- Decker's. Uh, Mason's gonna sneak his way in there Mason because you know, Mason say Mason he's about, got yeah. he's got nudes on Frank and he's got nudes on Gareth. But um, let me ask you this before mm-hmm. we move on to the internet question. I was gonna Saka. ask you about um, Foden. That's because, I was gonna ask you that. Saka yeah. or Foden. I, Foden? I still, I still, I still. I said to you already, Foden's better than Saka. So I, I still, I still. Stand but is he better because he's around better players than Saka? Is that what puts him? Because Saka's not really around no Don man. When you look at the man that Foden trains with, yeah, I'm looking at the f- forget the squad. I'm looking at the Man City lineup yesterday, yeah? De Bruyne, Mares, Bernardo Silva, Gundogan, Rodri. You go on the bench. Sterling. Jesus. You understand? Uh, Mendy. These men are technically yeah. gifted players. Is he ahead of him because of who he's around? Or is he just a better player? So I'm I I honestly still think that Saka is ahead of Foden. Do you? And yeah, here 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 here's why. I I don't, people are using the You're argument. bias, you know. I people can't lie. Are, no 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 bias aside. I, I'll, give bi- you, I'll, I'll give you 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 my I'll let you land. I'll give you my reasons. Uh, people people are saying people are saying that Foden they're using the whole. Foden can walk into the Arsenal team, and you know he, he can, can walk though. in. Yeah, but and, and and Saka can't do that with the City. But that doesn't necessarily mm. mean mm-hmm. that necessarily doesn't mean that he is better. Saka, I think, at this stage, if we were to stop right now, because we can only judge him off what they're done. Mm-hmm. Saka, I believe, has done more. Mm-hmm. The fact that the fact that um assist wise, if I'm not mistaken, assist mm-hmm. wise and all that, and how he helped ever since he started in the first team with Arsenal. Mm-hmm. Um, the fact that he can also play left back mm-hmm. to his versatility mm-hmm. he can he can play as a defender too he should get credit for mm-hmm. that so at this stage if you were to ask me no bias aside and this is mm-hmm. not saying that phil foden is is bad i love i think phil foden technical te- technique wise absolutely perfect i love watching that man what the ball on that man's left foot he like strokes the ball like no man no man mm-hmm. out there does but in terms of who's better at this current moment who's done more i still believe Saka. who do you think I think, I think Saka's probably done more, but I think Foden's probably the better player, blood. What I see of Foden, Saka, I'm like, yeah, you're cold with it. Foden, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> There's a, Saka's like, woo, but Foden's got the ooh. Like, yeah. he's just ahead. Like, when people used to try, like, Martinelli, Greenwood, Martinelli for me. Yeah. Martinelli for me. I think even Man United fans are starting to realise. Yeah, yeah. That Martinelli is better than him. I yeah. think Green was a better finisher. I think Green was probably the best finisher out of all of them. His finishing is dangerous. He, I see that Van Persie in him, that left foot. I see that that gunman style about him. Blood. Even even that, even the finishing over Martinelli, Greenwood. Yeah, yeah. I'd put Green was. Fi- I think his fi- it's it's mad. It's mad, bro. It's mad. But City rolling on. Uh, that win, their seventh in a row. Like I said, uh, puts them up into third. One point behind Liverpool, four behind Man United, who are top. Uh, City have a game in hand on both, which takes us straight to Man United, blood. We go to the other side of Manchester, the red side. Uh, Man United won. Uh, sorry, Burnley nil. Man United won. Now, Man United have gone uh, top of the league. Uh, apparently, here we go. Um, this is the first time Man United have ended the day top of the Premier League table since having played as many as 17 games since the final day of their title winning campaign in 2012-2013 under Sir Alex Ferguson. So Man United have not been top of the league from 17 games onward. So when you've played 17, so from 17 upwards, they've not been top since 2013, bro. So you understand why 
They're so excited, blood. You understand? Because it's been a long time coming, blood. You get me, like? I see Rants moving mad. You get me? I see Saeed moving it's, mad. It's, I see the man there moving mad. Fuck Goldbridge. But I see the man there moving mad. You understand? And, like, I'd, I'd love to know why. You get me? I'm, I'm, I'm going to fuck Rants. When, when I say fuck Rants, I mean yeah. fuck your team. When I say yeah. fuck Goldbridge, I literally mean yeah. fuck Goldbridge. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, blood. Yeah? But, um... Fuck Rats, fuck Zaid. Man, know what I mean when I say that. Where are the people that will, um, when they lose, they clip them and, oh, look at this negativity, oh, fake fan, da 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 da. Why, why, why was there no clips of their goal celebrations? Because I watched the watch along. Uh. When they scored, yeah, Saeed's voice was like, brother, somebody put tweezers on his nuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah? <laughs> rants, rants. It's like his balls dropped again. Yeah. You know, like the first time you, you know, when you work up, you, you know, <laughs> oh, 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 you know, when you oh, wake up that yeah, morning, yeah, 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 the first time your balls drop and, they, 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 <laughs> and you're like, you feel <laughs> the extra weight. And then you go downstairs, you see your mum, your mum's like, morning, son. You're like, morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, the voice is mad deep, blood. Rats's <laughs> voice was mad deep, blood. Mad deep, fam. But I'd love to just know, like, where were the Man United fans call, calling them fake fans, blood? Because what people have to understand is, yeah. We're going to get into Man United game, don't worry about it. I've got to big up the man then. Because win, lose or draw, we put out content. Mm -hmm. We don't hide. Mm -hmm. You understand? Shit gets emotional. You get me? We say some wild shit. We say some shit that maybe we shouldn't have said. Sometimes maybe we do push, we do cross the line, sorry. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's the passion and, and the love. Do you understand? It's That win can make your day. Mm -hmm. That Them going top, look what it's done to Rance. Mm -hmm. Look what it's done to mm -hmm. Saeed, blood. Rance has probably stopped going gym. He's so excited, blood. Look at look at what the draw has done to us. I, I it's like it's, you think I lost my mom. You yeah, it's literally God forbid. Oh, God for, sorry, God forbid. God that forbid. Terrible, that was a terrible get, example. No, but no, yeah, but, but yeah, that's God it. forbid. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that it's that it just kills your vibe, yeah. bro. Do you understand? But um, Man United have kept their first away clean sheet of the season in the Premier League, conceding eleven goals in their previous seven matches on the road in this campaign. And the maddest thing is. That's their first clean sheet away from home. Look how many games they've won away from home this year. Mm. Is there a waveform that has... Because... What are they? Like, like eight, eight, eight of nine, right? They're like... Eight yeah. Nine, their away forms was really... Um, got them in... in got them top of the league, blood. At home, they've been kind of shaky. You get me? Um, Burnley have scored just one goal in their last 10 home games against Manchester United. Compared to 20 in their previous 10 games versus the Reds at Turf Moor. It's mad, bro. Yeah, I know. You understand? Crazy. I asked the question. I'm going to ask it again, blood. I'm not even going to ask it again. I'm going to ask you a question. Are you, you going to put respect to Man United? Yeah. Because yeah. people are... Not, not, not even because like people are on you. People are on you still. I'm not going to lie. They're like, aye, bro. No, they don't like, they don't like, they don't nah, like my, Rashford, my Rashford opinion, which, which I stand by 10,000%. Yeah. And when you say the football's been bad, the football ain't been that bad, you know. I've been watching United still. I can't lie. The football ain't been that bad. These last the football couple, ain't been that bad. I mean, look at the look at the game. Look at the game yesterday. The first half was like very mm -hmm. even. Second half they stepped it up. Rashford, a nut. Look, you're cussing Rashford. Rashford, another assist. <laughs> another assist. Assist to Pogba. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Pogba. Nice you get me? Yeah. No, you understand? It's, it's, like it's, people cuss Pogba. Graham Sooners must have lost his mind last. You know that, ain't it? Graham Sooners must have lost his mind last night mm. because, brother. He'll probably try to blame Pogba for the new strain of Rona of being Rona in England. In, yeah. You understand? And the worst thing is, Sunez is Liverpool through and through. Mm. Pogba scored the goal. No, sorry. Uh, Sunez is Liverpool through and through. Mm. Man United and Liverpool's rivalry is a madness. That's a big one, yep. Sunez hates Pogba. Let's be real. He hates him, yeah? Pogba scored the goal to take Man United above Liverpool. Mm. How does Graham Sunez feel? This week, going in, like this week, how does he feel? He's probably shitting himself. He's also, probably having nightmares, yeah, it, thinking this Donny's going to score the winning goal at Anfield. Did you see the clip that went viral of, of Pogba, the, the, the locker room uh, the locker room virus of him, uh, of them saying goodbye to Tim Fosso-Mensa? I think he's going to, he's going to he's he's in, Leverkusen. Leverkusen. Yeah, he's, he's going, going to, to Germany. Germany. It was Pogba and Bailly. Yeah, the Pogba, the virus was like hugging him up, mm. you know, telling the fans to big up the kid mm. and all that, and it's 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 insane, man. Yeah. It's insane. It's Did you, uh, so you see that video of that girl, the Irish girl? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard that. Was, oh, um, that, so that in context, that 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 apparently was was, was yeah Leipzig, the yeah. Leipzig game, which which of which. But um, 
I'm gonna ask hey, the question. That energy, bro. Borderline racism. That energy. I, I, I'm not. I'm she, not gonna. Like for me, she was close to saying. I, I, I'm not gonna throw throw out anything, but that that. Energy, I will throw it out there. That energy. Have you that seen? She, have you, bro? Look at the look at the blood. Did you see her eyes? That energy that she had. That's what I'm saying. The energy that she had going after. I, I don't know. I, they, it's, it's, it's. There's been a few tweets that have been pulled up about her. Okay, so that that I haven't seen. That okay. I haven't seen. The only thing I know about her is that 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 video clip. You know the Netflix. word. You, you know the word coon, isn't it? Yeah. She tried to say it means pow in Ireland, brother. My girl's Irish. I've never heard that in my life. I thought that's that's one of the that's one of the more universal. That's almost as universal as the N word. Mm-hmm. She 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 said she used it because she was calling her friend a friend. One of them tweets got pulled up. That's why I said it looked like she was ready to say like, but because she was online. She probably stopped herself. Yeah, you get me? Uh, yeah, I, I, that with energy, Twitter, she could get away with it. Oh my, my account got hacked. I didn't tweet it. But there's video. The video, it's, it's you on video. Yeah, you it's, me? it's. I mean, that energy was, it was something else. Uh, is Rance a uh, quick question? Is Rance still all out? Is he? Yeah, 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 no disrespect to United, I just think that um, key moments in recent years, big moments, you've bottled it. Um, James Redman, big up James, blood. Hamis, he's pointing. Hamis, he sc- pointed out. The that, yeah, he pointed out a few occasions like uh, League Cup semi final, bottled it. Set, uh, City this year. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Um, that. I remember that. The uh, there was another one. Uh, Champions League, oh, the, uh, top the, of the league, nine games, one one win needed from your next three. Bottled it. Uh, semi. Uh, what is it? Last year, Champions League. Bottled it. The Champions League last this year, game, FA Cup. Game, yeah. Bottled it. Chelsea Dunham. Bottled it. Semi final, FC bro. When it gets to like the running, <laughs> so when it comes to the running, so when it comes, when shit hits the fan. Yeah, when it <laughs> them under New Viagra blood. <laughs> when it <laughs> big man team, when it comes to the final fifteen, uh, that's when you see the Oli. That's, that's when you see the Oli outs come back out again. See, see whether whether they the Oli in, Oli out. Yeah. The Oli outs are still there, but they're quiet right they're now. Quiet, yeah. You get me? Nah, he's getting it done. He's getting it done for him. You, you can't. Yeah, you, you can't, can't really. You can't really hate him on it. He's turned it around, blood. Yeah. I mean, yeah. since um, yeah, beautiful form, just greens. Yeah, I mean, since um, I think their last loss was actually us. Last in the league, was, uh, yeah, sixth game. Our, our, yeah, our game was the last game they lost. I mean, after that, look, they've less ten games. You get me? Eight like, wins, two two draws. You understand? And you look at the opponents they've beaten in there. They beat Everton away, um, Southampton Ball. away, uh, West West Ham away, drew with City, with battered um, Leeds. It was a Sheffield. You get me? Uh, done. Uh, um, Everton in the quarterfinal, but then obviously City come and smoke your clock. But they've done all right in the league, blood. You get me? It looks like Ole has kind of turned it around. We're going to just browse through the other two results and then we're going to get into the previews of the weekend. Uh, Sheffield United finally, um, even when I told Jets that they won, Jets was like, What the fuck? That's the Sheffield United boys. <laughs> you get me? They're fine. Pe- penalty. Right? You get me? They got their W, Billy Sharp. Um, it was a penalty. One, uh, it was a penalty though. Uh, it was, it was a penalty, bro. Went to VAR. VAR making the right decision. One thing I will say on the Man United game, um, I think Shaw should have been sent off. Yeah, that. And I think that the Maguire was a huge. Was that a hand, Was that handball, a penalty? That handball. Handball. Yep. handball. They got yep. life. Yep. Man United doing what they that do. That was not a natural yeah, hand yeah. position. Man United doing. I mean, my man's hands on his fucking shoulder. He's doing. Boom. He's doing it's Superman. How can how can it be natural, blood? You understand? It hit me. It was it was unnatural, like mm-hmm. his fucking head shape, blood. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? It's unnatural business, blood. You get me? Um, Wolves playing Everton. That was probably the game of 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 the midweek fixtures. Um, Everton Alex. beating them two one. Alex that Wobie. Alexi will be goal man. Lovely ball from Dick, intelli- from Luca Dean. Luca Dean. Uh, I was going to talk to you about that. Um, is he one of the best? Or is he one of is he one of the best fullbacks in the he's league? He's in that he's in that regular. On is he top three? He's he's top no he's top five. Top five. Top five. So what's your top, top five? Top three. Top three in no particular order is Regulon, mm-hmm. Tierney, mm-hmm. Andy Robertson. 
Then so, three. So, so what's your other two then? The other two, Digne is going to be there. No, Luke Shaw sucks. Which other team? So he's what top four. Other left, what other left backs? I'm trying to think of. Leicester? The left backs. Who's they got... Um, Chilwell hasn't been good this year. Nah, well, Chilwell is Ch- 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 at Chelsea. Chelsea now. He's Chelsea. Yeah. He hasn't been good this year at uh, so Robertson. Leicester got my man. And uh, Leicester has... What's his name? Uh, Fofa. What's it? Fofa? No. No, he's a centre-back. What's his name? Casano. Who's this? Who's the Leicester left? Casano. Castanga. Is Castanga right back or left back? Check if Castanga's right back or left back. Castanga. Let's see. He is Tim is a right back. Right back. Right back. Leicester. Who the hell is the Leicester left back? I don't know. Check the squad. Who the fuck is the Just put Leicester City. And the squad should come up. <laughs> <clears throat> because that's interesting If you're saying top five Who'd you put above him? So those three are the three That I mentioned uh, Regulon Because what? Who's Reg- at, C- at City? You've got um, yes. Juan Cancelo uh, the, uh, Mendy You've got Mendy Cancelo. And Cancelo Who's better? Cancelo I think Cancelo's better He's so been what, starting Cancelo? lately He's been starting lately He's a been lot. on bits yeah, blood. He's been starting lately He's been lot. on bits Rude boy um, Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Then I so I'd said I'd said Tierney I'd said Tierney so Tierney Robertson, Robertson. um Regulon Luca Dean Juan Cancelo because I'm thinking who else is out there blood they ain't really no one out there left backs quality left back in the Premier League yeah, he now. could be fourth probably fourth, what you what you put him above fourth. Cancelo Man City kid. Can say it was a so, baller. The thing is, Dini Dini has been out a lot though. He's been out. He's been out with his with his. But look uh, at his numbers, bro. True. Look at man's numbers. Ooh, bro. I might actually. I don't know who. It's a toss up between him and Cancelo. I'd go Cancelo. Dini is cold. And he's got numbers, but I think I'd probably go Cancelo. But Cancelo's yeah, more. I might go, I might he's go more. Dini. He's more my. He's more. He's more my kind of level. But them three, the, those, those, those first three are my, are my. The, those three are the toss. I, the, and out of those three, I think Tierney's the best. Yeah. Out of them three, people are gonna say I'm biased. Okay, that's a little biased, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first three are. Well, you know what? Yeah, they're they're all solid. You get me. All all, all the players you've named are are solid. Mm-hmm. You get me, and and they're secure, and they, and 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 this. It moves me on to our sponsor blood. They're, they're, they're secure and safe, like like the sponsor blood. You get me? Simply safe blood. Big up the Simply man. Simply safe. You understand? Like you lot already know blood. Everyone wants to keep their home and family safe, whether it's from a break in, a fire, flooding, or an or, or a medical emergency. Simply safe home security delivers award winning twenty seven uh twenty four seven protection. With Simply Safe, you don't need to get an arsenal of cameras and sensors. You get me? Um. You don't really want an Arsenal. The only thing you take from the Arsenal defence is Tierney and fucking Gabriel, mate. But um, you get the best professional monitors in the business. They've got your back day and night, ready to send the police, fire or EMTs when you need them most. Straight to your door. Now, Zars told you on many occasions how his brothers got it and it works really well and how it was a very easy thing to set up and you can you can move it around the crib as well. Um, he didn't like. He didn't like the shout out from 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 last episode. He's like why? he's nervous. He's like, oh, dude, bro, bro, you're mentioning my name and your content, bro. There's a lot of people out there that will hear it and all that. So don't even try it because he does have that. Simply safe. The cameras will fucking see you. Don't even try to go to script and all that. You but see? yeah, he's a he's yeah, a yeah. he's a secret. Uh, no, but we didn't put looked, out his acts or nothing. Or yeah, no, face. no. He he just got nervous. Well, he just got. They didn't even know your second thing. name. I, I didn't even I didn't even mention his name. He just That's got nervous. He's just like, oh, bro, listen to your podcast. Don't hey, don't talk about me, but. Whatever. <laughs> He's a madman, fam. Yeah. But Simply Safe has an arsenal of sensors and cameras that protect every inch of your home. You can set it up yourself in about thirty minutes. It's mad easy, like I said. Um, then, simp- uh, then Simply Safe's uh, professionals take over, monitoring your home twenty four seven, and ready to send help the moment there's an alarm. You get me. So obviously, when you're out and about, maybe you've leave the country. You get me. Like I, I, I think I might have to get it for my apartment, blood. Because obviously when yeah, I like, for when when I go back to London, I'll be there for like maybe three weeks at a time. Simply safe. Yes, I'm, yeah, go. man. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, man. I'm, I'm gonna get my one, man. Definitely, man. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my code as well. You understand? I want you to I want you lot to use my code as well. You get me? So right now, my listeners get a free home security camera when you purchase a Simply Safe system 
at simplysafe.com slash back again. You also get a 60 day risk free trial. So there's nothing to lose. You get me? 60 day free risk uh, trial. Visit simplysafe.com slash back again for your free security camera today. That's simplysafe.com slash back again. Now, let's move into the fixtures over the weekend. Our fixture, we're going to do first, but our fixture is actually the last uh, fixture. Well, not, it's not even the... It is the last It is the last because Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday is a new game week. Because right? Tuesday... Okay, this is looking... Okay, this is mad now, blood, because... What bro, the there are games non-stop. Bro, there's <laughs> games non-stop, bruv. Like, we're going to... I don't know how... All right, so... Holy We're going to have to literally film the podcast after the next probably gonna have to film after the Bro, Newcastle from game. From Saturday, the, the only game, the only day that doesn't have a game is Friday. Up until the next week on Sunday. You see that? There's no game. Yeah, Friday and Sunday is the only games. Friday and Sunday are the only days where there's Monday, no games. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And then Tuesday, oh, yeah, no there's Sunday. a midweek no session. Sunday. Tuesday, there's a whole midweek run. Holy shit, I had nice scene. Yeah, blood. But um, we take on Newcastle United, Monday Night Football. Eight o'clock kickoff in the UK, three PM kickoff in New York, uh, Eastern Time, Western Time, midday. Yep. Um, Newcastle currently in fifteenth. Obviously, we played them last week, last Saturday, last Saturday in the FA Cup, two 0 victory. Uh, took us to extra time. Couple stats for the game. Um, Arsenal have won fourteen of their last fifteen Premier League matches against Newcastle. Uh, one loss. Uh, losing the other 2-1 in April 2018. I remember that one. We went up to um, St. James's Park the night before. Me, Jakey, a couple of the man them. We went out, had a good night. Sunday, Arsenal were in the eh? fucking... Yeah, Arsenal <laughs> were in the fucking weekend, blood. Um, Newcastle United have lost their last eight away Premier League matches against Arsenal since a 1-0 victory in November 2010. Do you know who got the winning goal in that game? 2010, let me show you now victory, that, Emmanuel, no, let me Emmanuel. show you now that it's not here. No, let me just show you that yeah, it's, it's not, not here. No, yeah, yeah. So, Definitely so, not. All right, I popped on the glasses. It's not. I see, I see. Yeah, there's nothing. There's there's the insights and all that. There's nothing yeah. over there. Uh, let me guess. Emmanuel, uh, 2010. No, was, no, when they beat us. Andy Carroll. Head Actually, off. Actually, 2010 was after Andy Bayo too. No, was that Bayo still at Arsenal? 20? Actually, I don't yeah, he was. No, he won. He left. His last season was 08-09. Yeah. That was um, 2010-2011. That was the season when... Um, Shamak? Uh, Ramsey. That was Shamak and them. As, was that Shamak? Ramsey as, leg as break. A... Oh, that was the leg break season? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Arsenal have kept 25 Premier League clean sheets against Newcastle. Only Man United have kept more against a specific opponent in the competition's history. 27 against both Tottenham <clears throat> and Aston Villa. Like I said, uh, Arsenal beat Newcastle 2-0 at home in the FA Cup third round on the 9th of January this year. If they win here, it will be the shortest gap, nine days between home victories against the same opponent since January 2008, when they beat Newcastle twice at the Emirates in the space of three days. And finally, Arsenal have lost two of their... Last three Premier League games played on Mondays, uh, uh, one win. As many as they had in the previous 17, 12 wins and three draws. However, the Gunners have won each of their last six Monday league matches at the Emirates. Okay, now, so going into this one, um, lineup's going to be a big thing. You understand? Because obviously... Um, we don't even know it's a mad one still because Cause we, because the game's on a Monday and we've got to put out content for the weekend we don't even know like if Tierney's going to be okay if Mari's going to be okay health, we don't know our health bill from the from uh, from Crystal Palace yet we no, don't know we, we don't, don't know who's made it through Crystal I think Palace everyone's yet. I think everyone that played is okay I think everyone that played came through okay but Martinelli will Martinelli be fit enough for the bench Will he be fit enough to mm -hmm. start? Will Mari be fit to start? Will, will Tini be back? Do you start Partey? Partey? Yep, I was about to say, will Partey be fit enough to, to start? 
What would you do? There's a lot of decisions, blood. Because I ask you, what would do you, you do? Because do you... it's your manager, so maybe you have a kind of. <laughs> I got inside into yeah, my manager. Ma- oh, maybe yeah, you I, have know, a... I know. I know my manager. I know my manager very well, right? He's gonna do. He's gonna do the thing. Will William sneak his way back in? He's gonna do the thing that he 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 should not do. The most obvious thing that he should not do. That's exactly what he's gonna do. William is gonna be brought in under the guise of of, <laughs> of rotation. He's gonna be brought in. Who's under getting the dropped of... for him then? Uh, based off today and who your manager your manager doesn't like Alex like is it so I have he, a feeling I have a feeling now that he's, he's he might he so might you think be he'll revert to you think he'll put Abba down the middle and he, then go like Willian right Saka left Smith Rowe middle Something like that. Yeah, I suspect it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be something that, that's out of left field that he should not do and all that. I was going to actually present this. I was going to, I was going to argue, well, I was going to ask you this. Since we, since we recently played him, do you just play that team that beat him or? Nah, because it took us, it took us the extra time. The extra time. So too. that team that played. With, we'll with just, the changes? <clears throat> that team that we played, it will be a nil-nil like today, blood. Mm. We need to win this one. Mm. You understand? For me, I said, I said that we need to get 10 points out of our next four games. Now we need to win the one. The, so now, now we need, we need to, win to win the next three. The next three. Most, so we need to win. beat Newcastle. Then we need to go to Southampton and win. And then we have to beat United. If we don't win. Southampton was the one that I said, because it's away from home. Mm-hmm. Sorry to interrupt. No, it's okay. Southampton was the one away from home that I said, you know what? That one, I'll, that one, I don't, I'll take the draw in it. Because we don't really travel well to Southampton. It's an away game. We do well. United are on form, yeah? But we do well against United. Mm-hmm. At, especially at Emirates. When we played them at Old Trafford, they just slapped up Leipzig, blood. Mm. You understand? And then we went there and, and beat them. And beat them one You now. get me? So, you, Newcastle, we have a great record against Newcastle, which I've just pointed out as well. So, that's why I said win. Palace, Palace, our record ain't good. But I thought the run of form we was on, we would have got, we, we would have had enough to get that W, blood. So, now, we're going to have to go to Southampton and win. We're going to have to beat Newcastle. And we are most definitely... Gonna have to beat United, bro. If we don't win at Newcastle, one of my feet is gonna start uh, is gonna start stepping out. You're too quick if with it. If we though. don't win Newcastle, you um, are a f- no, you. No, 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 no. How no, 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 right, go on. How, how am I too quick? I haven't said um, I haven't said I'm out. I said one of my feet is gonna start. Yeah, but moving that's up. some that's some flip flop thing. Because three wins, you're in. Uh, uh, two draws, you're halfway out. Like. You you, you 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 have to be brother. You see me, yeah. Like, look, I went, I was in, and then I went out, and nothing's getting me in unless it's dramatic change, yeah. With your your things, like your vet, like people say, I'm reactional. Uh-huh. You're the reaction of what I feel to. like. I feel like that <laughs> that is that is natural. That's what being yeah. a fan. That's what being a fan is. It's you know you in and out in maybe. and out in and out in know. and out and you go you go as the team the team maybe dictates that's the, the tempo. Um, I don't know maybe that's the American concept. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? Maybe that's why you don't call it. Uh, maybe, okay, so maybe that's why you call it soccer. Let, let me let, let me ask you this because because we're getting heat. You you, you and you, you anyone anyone yeah. that does this on the on on the, anyone that's a content creator probably gets heat for for this for this thing. Mm. What actually what 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 determines uh, you, you to be a real fan versus a fake fan? Like what is the actual criteria? Because I for don't me, get these no, assholes calling. Nah. Calling calling people like you, yeah. bro. You have a gold. People, I mean, I mean, you're in the games. If 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 Arsenal Stadium, if, if Emirates Emirates was open today, you would have been in the stands. You have a gold season ticket. I don't think you've missed a game since Lord knows what. So how what what determines what determines whether you're fake or real? For me, like, there's no there's no blueprint to being a football fan. There's they, no that there, there, for me you're you're a fan, whether you're. 10,000 miles away, whether you're 10 minutes away, whether you go to the ground, whether you don't go to the ground, you're a fan of the club. You're a supporter, blood. Nothing, no one, people think because you go to games, you, like you've, you've got, you're entitled to this far. You've, uh-huh. your, your opinion is valued more. Our opinion is not valued more. We might know more mm-hmm. and see more because we're yeah, closer cause, to cause it. You see, you see the full field, not the TV coverage. You feel me? But, as in, there's for me like, what is this? A fucking what? What is their membership levels of fans? Yes, yeah, it's it's so there's it's, like it's, it's like a season ticket. You got members, so you got red level, you got um, a red member, then you've got um, Pla- pl- platinum, platinum, no pl- gold, gold, platinum, platinum diamond, uh, diamond. No, no, like, come on, bro. You get like, is that what you're telling me, bro? Like for me, 
There's no, oh yeah, this one, no, no, no. If you're a fan, you're a fan, isn't it? Yeah, it's like I've been, I've been supporting Arsenal since 1990, 1995, mm-hmm. 19, wait, 1996, 1997. And mm. since, ever since I started doing this with you, it's the first time I've ever been called a fake. I was like, what? It's because Bro, you're with around, me. Yeah, it's like I've been around here since, since it's 1997. It's because you're with me. It's, it's beca- I don't know, man. They, I don't know, man. They, I don't know, football fans are very, I don't know, man. Especially the British ones, isn't it? Yeah. Like the whole, the whole camera thing, isn't it? Yeah. Not even like just, they hate vlogging. So when you're in the ground vlogging, they hate uh-huh. that. They fu- they despise it, bro. But I don't know, man. Because football's got that hooligan mentality to it, I think they feel like, oh, you're going on the camera and rare tear. But they don't know that, bro, man's hotting man up. Man's hotting man shit up, bro. So when we go to the up blocks, Tottenham and them thing there, these fans know what we look like. So even though we don't wear colours when we go Tottenham, mm. our face is known. Yeah. So Tottenham hooligans are already going to be yeah. on, man. So... How are you calling us? Oh, you man are pussies and you man are fake. And when you man are the ones not exposing your faces, mm-hmm. maybe you're not exposing your face because it's hot. Mm-hmm. And I get that because I've got street brethren who are not hooligans. They do other shit. Mm-hmm. So they don't come on the camera. When they come on camera, they go, let me blur the, blur the face or they come with a, or they come with a banny. But my friends don't call me a dickhead because I go on camera because man know the thing, innit? If you get me, man know, innit? Like, so... It's not that in it, but they have this perception that if you go on camera, you're you're a you're, you're, you're a nerd. Mm. You get me? You're 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 soft. You get me? But I could show a man on camera, not me, but I could even me. I'm better than certain Arsenal fans mm. that are off camera, bro. Mm. I'll say that with chess, bro. You understand? Man are soft, bro. You get me? There's bare fake hooligans as well. Bare fake ones. They wear Stone Island and they think they're bad. Mm. Stone Island, the little hack it hat. You get me? With the fucking put on the gazelles and, they, and and then they think they're proper firm. Brother, the, the man that are real firm, mm. you know them, man, mm. innit? Them man don't even look at me. They just walk straight past me. They don't want to pay me attention. They just walk straight past me and leave me alone. You get these little fake ones like, yeah, I go down the pub. Yeah, I've been fucking going to Arsenal since fucking 1996. <laughs> fucking, I'm, I'm an ivory. I'm out, I'm out. The one is, the, the, the favourite, well, the, the most the, the, the most common phrase is, I'm yeah, old school. I'm old school. I'm, I'm old, old school. Hybrid. Well, guess what? I'm fucking hybrid. Guess yeah? what? I've, guess I've, what? I went to fucking hybrid. Guess what? I was a fucking junior gunner, dog. Guess what? I was in the fucking North Bank at hybrid, bro. You understand? So, you feel me? Yeah, that's I'm right. old school, yeah? Ex- but I'm on the camera, brother. You feel me? But yeah, for me, there's no entitlement to being a fan. If you support the club, you support the club. It's simple as that, bro. Yeah, no, Emirates Emirates is the one that I actually haven't been to. Highbury, Highbury, mm. I went in 2000, was it 1990, 1999? Mm-hmm. We went to the UK. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But lineups, like, I'll give you my one quick. If everyone's, if, if, if everyone's like, fit. how yeah, I want yeah, it. Let's assume that. All right, I'm going to give you two lineups. I'm going to give you the lineup that um with what I know is available now. Yeah. So after the Palace game. So I would uh, like so I'd go uh I would go I'd go to a back three. For Newcastle. Yeah. Because I don't me, do you know why? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me let me fix the volume in my yeah, is, yeah. is this fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Just, yo, yo, Jetsky, can you check this out? <laughs> Look, right, yeah, yeah, oh, it's back on, it's back, it's back. Jetsky's eating. Back. He's like, Sorry. brother, let me get my. I'm, I'm trying to eat, bro. Look. All right, all right, it's back. My son's back. Wait, what did you sounds say, Trips? It sounds good to me. <laughs> what did you say, Trips? Nah, there's, there's reasoning. There's reasoning. Because for me, yeah, I, I wouldn't. Um, going off today, Ainsley can't start for me. Which is why I would go to. Oh, so this is the lineup of. Yeah, so this is the first lineup, which is so which the... is today. So going off today, which is the today guys. So, so, so that's today, no Mari, no Tierney. Okay. Yeah, so going off today, I'd go to a back three. So obviously Leno in goal. So no Mari, no Tierney. That's it. No Mari, no Tierney, no Gabriel. No, no Mari, no T E. No Mari, no Tierney, no Martinelli. Okay. Yeah. So Leno in goal. Um, back three of Gabriel. Louise, Holden, Saka, left wing back, Bellerin, right wing back, midfield of Partey and Xhaka, mm-hmm. Smith Rowe in the 10,
And then the one two. Minute. One minute. Leno, Bellerin, Mar- so one minute. Through. Leno, Bellerin, Holden, so you, so you Gabriel, Louise, Saka, Partey. That's eight, right? Xhaka, Emil, Abba, Laka. So I'd go. Two. Two yeah. up front. So two. So like five, three, two. Mm-hmm. But the three would be a like the three would be a um a triangle. Okay. So at the top of it, you'd have Emil, you'd have Smith Rowe, and then you'd have yeah, Jacker and Party, like and then Abba Laka up top together. Up top together. So two. The 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 if everyone's cool, then I'd go Leno in goal. Excuse me. Uh Leno in goal, uh back four. Bellerin. It's a muscle strain. Um, it should be all right. If everyone's all right, Mari, Gabriel, Tierney, Xhaka, Xhaka, Partey, Saka, Martinelli, Smith Rowe, Laka. I would put Abra on the bench. So, so Mar- okay, Martinelli, okay. Whoa, 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 wait. What, what was your three? It was, it was Martinelli. Martinelli left. Left, uh-huh. Saka right. Smith Rowe middle. Smith Rowe then. Laka down the middle. Aubameyang. Wow, okay. Martinelli <laughs> for Aubameyang. That's yeah. The... So, I... you, so you give me, t- you got to give me two. The two, okay. All right, with the, with the folks, with the folks that were, that were available today, mm. not, not, not T any fuck. It's like Would you go the miles. same as today? I, I think so. So I'd go. I'd go. You, the, you, I'd would go would the same. I'd go the same as today, and I would swap out. I would swap out. I want to start party. Mm. So I would swap him out for. Hey, who do I? Sabios and Shaka had good games. Two pivots. Two. Uh, if we go party and Shaka, that might be a. I, I might start Sabios. I'm going to start Sabios for something different. Shaka's the one that's a bit more similar to party. I'm not saying they're the same, but Shaka's closer to, to party than what's it called. So Sabayos, I'd uh, I'd start him. And in def- Luis didn't do that bad, you know. So I would I, I would yeah, that's the team I play. That same one, that same one that played yeah. today and just swap out uh, start Shaka. <coughs> if everyone is fit though, yeah, I would fit. go, I would so Ainsley drops. Ainsley's out for Tierney. Tierney comes in as left back, I'll play four. Uh, and I would keep it the same, that same one that I had, but we just swap, but we swap uh, Ainsley and Tierney. Okay. Prediction. Two predictions. All right, so mine, yeah. First line up. <clears throat> first line up. F- first line up, 3 1. Second line up, 2 0. I am going to go 2 0. Hey, no. Yeah, 2 0 for. I think we just got unlucky today. We weren't unable to unlock him. So 2 0 for my first lineup. Mm-hmm. Then with TNE on, I would go 3 1. <clears throat> 3 1. I think we can get in an extra goal. We'll probably relax and then and concede one. So, so 2 0 and 3 1 for me. It should be wins. Yeah. I expect wins. Yeah. Psst. I expected a win today, blood. What should I say yesterday? The big game of the weekend, blood. Man United. Well, man, yeah, Man United go to Anfield to take on Liverpool first versus second. The champions versus the chasers. Well, it's not even the chasers. The champions versus the leaders. The leaders, yeah. Because... The champions, the champions are chasing. Are chasing. <laughs> the champions you are chasing. Yeah. The champions are chasing. The champions have had a poor run of form recently. They have no win in their last three games. Uh, since the seven 0 away victory at Crystal Palace, Liverpool have drawn two and lost one. Um, a home draw against go. West Na- Brom. Name the teams. Name it, dude. It's it's shocking. Name the an teams. away draw. To um, Newcastle, and then there's no shame in losing one nil away at Southampton. You get me? But um, Liverpool's form's been shaky in recent weeks, to say the least. Like since we've hit the Christmas period, their form's been a bit shaky. Have the 
Have the injuries caught up with them? I does, think so. Does Klopp... Is Klopp... Um, is Klopp... Um, what's the word? Is he... Is he cowered into pressure? I think so. Is the so. pressure getting to him? I... Is Has Ole got him on ropes? Because he's coming out with a lot. Because, like like I said, I said, well, are Liverpool that bad or are United that good? I think Liverpool are that bad. Do you? And it's, I it's, think it's, it's a bit of both. It's... I think I think there's three things to do with it. I think, I think it's, more it's so. I think it's injuries. So that, that I'm I'm playing that as the bad. I think it's form. And I think United are better than they were last year. United are a better team than they were last year. Since Bruno since Bruno Fernandez has come into that team, United are a better team. We have to be real. I'm I don't like them, yeah. They can fuck themselves. Yeah. But I don't hate. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. They're, no, they, they're a much better they they look dangerous, blood. They're they're away they, from home as well. They are fucking. They're conceding, yeah. but they're winning, bro. They're a better team, yes, but I think I think it's more so to do with the, it's more so to do with Liverpool mm. that they're, they're, they're in that spot. If, they, look did, at if it, they didn't have the injuries, yeah. And so what, yeah, because the, the injuries are defense, mad. Because yeah. Van Dijk, Thiago, Fabinho was Fabinho out of points. Henderson point, was out. Salah was out. Matip. Mane was out. Matip was out. Salah had Corona. What's his name? The, 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 the English the English defender. The English Joe Gomez. Joe Gomez is out. Trent's form's been up and down yep. like a yo-yo. Allison, Allison was out. Yeah, they had the fucking Adrian in the gates. Adrian. Yeah. X loves it when you say gates. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah he likes that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> goal, goal yeah, and gates. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's about when you say gates and yeah, gates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, right, I, I, I know, yeah, it. he fucking loves it, blood. But I think it's I think it's I think it's three factors. I think United are better than they were last year. Yep. I think injuries are catching up with Liverpool, and I think also form because it came out that Trent had Corona earlier, like earlier in the season. Trent had oh, Corona. Okay, okay. I, like, like, I think I, like, I think in the break. Him? I think in the break he had it, and he has he 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 he, he, he looks himself different this player. year, blood. Different player. Do you? And they say that Rona has that effect. Like some Rona is 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 long, innit? It depends what what Rona hits you, innit? There's uh-huh. some like you'll be cool with it. You understand? Like Robbie, Robbie messaged me yesterday. I need to reply to him still. He was like, "Yo, Mister you Mister New York, we see you back. Good that you're back. Okay. Um, the Corona's fully left me now. It's living nice. So he had it for about two, three weeks. Then you got my my girl's aunt, who's on 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 a, on a ventilator mm-hmm. right now, blood. Oh damn! Yeah, remember Jeez. I told you last oh, episode. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's improving you because you the last episode it was like the ventilator was doing like ninety percent of her breathing, but now it's like fifty percent. So she's improving. Oh, there we go. You get That's me? So That's a good sign. Yeah, me as my as my Muslim brothers say, blood. Inshallah, Inshallah, she pulls through it, blood. You get me? But yeah, I, I think it's the three, the, the three, the, the three factors that come into one. Because you have to be real. United are much better than they were last year. Mm-hmm. Um. Liverpool have won their last two home Premier League games against Man United. Last winning three in a row in March 2011. Man United are winless in their last four Premier League games against Liverpool. Excuse me. Two draws and two, de- and two, defeats. two defeats. Their longest run without a win against their rivals since a run of five between March 2000 and January 2002. Man United have had just 77 shots in their last 11 Premier League games against Liverpool. Failing to register double figures for attempts since December 2014-11. At Anfield, the Red Devils haven't had as... At Anfield, the Red Devils haven't had as many as 10 shots since September 2013 under David Moyes. 10. Liverpool are winless in three Premier League games. Draw uh, two draws, one defeat, failing to score in their last two. They last went four without a win in February 2017, which was a run of five. While they have, while they've not failed to score in three consecutive games since March 2005, and finally, Liverpool lost their first league game of 2021, but haven't started a calendar year with consecutive defeats since 1993. <coughs> However. No corona for Jetski, don't worry, blood. <laughs> Clean. He's good. Um, but where was it? Uh, since nineteen ninety three. However, okay. the Reds are unbeaten in sixty seven home league games. Wins uh, fifty five wins, twelve draws, finding the net in each of their last forty two at Anfield. 
How many? 67? Yeah. Jesus. 67 home games. 55 Jesus. wins, 12 draws. Finding the net in each of their last 42 at Anfield. Jesus. Liverpool need to win this. Because Man United at the top. If Man United win this, Man United go six points clear. Right now, Man United are three points clear. Top of the table. Um, Liverpool really, really, really need to win this, blood. You understand? If Liverpool win, they go top because they got a better goal yeah. difference. Man United are on plus 10. Liverpool are on plus, plus 16. 16. So literally, a win for Liverpool takes them back top of the table. This is the game of the weekend. Um, fans have asked us to do a watch along I'm not sure if we'll do a watch along we might I'm not going to say we are we're going to discuss it because obviously it's a big game isn't it and I'm not going to lie this is the kind of game where I'd like to chill with a Zubi and just watch it and enjoy it blood you know what I'm not after but especially like I'm going to have to flip and do the watch along the next day the Newcastle Arsenal oh yeah because you get me yeah so I I doubt we'll do it still but um, game of the weekend game of the season so far you get me the biggest, the biggest Man United. <coughs> I'm gonna ask you a question: Is this the biggest Man United game since Liverpool went to um, Old Trafford and uh, Gerrard scored two penalties, and uh, the 2014 season when we don't let this slip? Is this the biggest Liverpool Man United, Man United game since then? Because if you look between the times of 2014 to 2020, 2021, we're in 2021 now. This has to be the biggest game. Yeah, because United hasn't been. United. Yeah, yeah, because United hasn't been because you because twenty twelve was 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 the title and ever twenty thirteen. Sorry, 2013 so twenty twelve, twenty thirteen. Yeah, this is the biggest one. Yeah. United United hasn't been. They've they've had that quiet period. Yeah, mm. I'll, 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 I'll definitely agree with you that. And I think I think I think this is this is the moment that that United fans' opinion on me t- turns. If they, they win, you're fucked. They hate me now, but they I'm don't actually, hate you. I'm actually, they no, just I'm they, they, they're, they're on my they, ass for the rush for, for they the hate Rashford your opinion. they hate your opinion. My Rashford opinion, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, dude, they don't really hate nah, me. But yeah. I, I think that's gonna sway because I, I. Do you think I Liverpool? Think I, I so, think, what prediction? You first, because boy, this is boy, this is boy. Uh, this is it. This is my moment with the with the United boys. I think they'll do it. I think they'll do it, man. That you I'm, think United I'm, will I'm win. Sick. I'm tired. I'm you du- think United will I, win? I am done of doubting Ole Gunnar Solskjaer this whole season. I have that. I've been saying it's you know it, 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 he's he's been riding a whole lot of luck. This past form, this this uh, this this seven games, this form, this 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 line of greens. That's not luck. So I'm 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 done. I'm done doubting Man United. But the opponents they've played, they haven't really faced a true test. If we be honest, yeah. They haven't faced a true test, bro. They haven't, bro. Because it was us, us, then what? Who? Everton. Everton's a good team. Everton, West Brom, I mean, Man Southampton. City. Man City. They beat Southampton. I mean, look, Man, Man City. City. Look at the Man City game. They drew 0-0 at yeah. home, and then they lost in the semi-final. Drew at Leicester. You get me? I, I, I They don't haven't, know. like, it's... Bro, this is, the, this, is, this is their first, like, real test, blood. You get me, and for some reason, my and it's away from home. My gut is telling me they pass it for some reason. Score. I think two one, Pogba winner. It's gonna be Pogba with the winner. I'm going, I'm going Liverpool blood. For me, Klopp, Klopp knows how to motivate these men, and he knows how to get them up for it. You get me. Um, but all these and I do- think just the whole Man United effect of it. It's Man United. Yeah. It? You get me? Up for the game. And But Klopp's been whining this whole time. He's just been whining lately. Nah, Screaming but when you nah, but, nah, but when you're top of the league, you whine. You forget you forget mm. Wenger moaning. Uh. You forget Mourinho, mm. Fergie, mm-hmm. Pep. When you get me? You moan when you're at the top. It's what you do. Because you're at the top, if you moan, because you're top of the table, referees. Do take kinda that into account, yeah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit, kind of help you out a little bit. So you're, yeah. I'm going. I'm going Liverpool. I'm going three-one Liverpool. I'm going two-one United. I'm going three-one Liverpool. Um, I'm trying to look for. There's not. That's that's the biggest that's, game. That's, that's the only one. Yeah, I guess. You get London derby. Uh, Fulham Chelsea. Oh, there we go. Fulham, the draw specialist. Chelsea. Um, their form is 
is shocking, bro. You get me. Um, Lampard um, is 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 seriously. Is he? Yeah. Where where is he? He's at seriously being, in trouble, bro. Yeah. Okay. I mean, <laughs> Chelsea. There was get me. You forget a couple of weeks back. It was we're gonna win the. Gonna league. Win not, the not, yeah. not, not even. I, not even we're gonna. Not not nah. Not even we're gonna win the league. We're competing for the league. We are title contenders. Duh, 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 duh. Chelsea FC is back. Frank Frank Lampard is the best thing since sliced bread. And now you man sit in ninth. Yeah, that looks six good. points. Six points away from fourth. Yeah, six blood. Yeah, you understand. I look stupid too. You're recent. I backed them. That's why I'm putting my yeah, hand back, up. Yeah. I was wrong. <laughs> I, I thought mm. they were going to be up there, up there competing for the title. Mm. I was wrong. Hand I up. mean, Chelsea's Chelsea's recent run of form. Um, I'm going to look at it. Let me go. All right, here we go. So from um, so from 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 um, drawing nil nil with um Tottenham, yeah. Um, they beat Leeds three one, lost to Everton one nil, lost to Wolves two one, beat uh, West Ham three nil. Lost to us 3-1. Drew with Villa 1-1. Lost to City 3-1. Their form's been as bad as Tottenham's blood. Do you understand? Yeah. Lampard. If he loses this game, will he get sacked? Because after this, um, so they got Fulham. After this, they've got Leicester away. And then they've got Wolves at home. Followed by Burnley at home and then Tottenham away. If he loses tomorrow, is he out? Because Fulham, Fulham are the draw specialists. Obviously, great point away at um, the shithole. Uh, uh, Cavallero with Cavallero, the goal. Yep. What the? Uh, but Fulham are the draw specialists, blood. Uh, they have drawn one, two, three, four, five of their last five their their, their last five games that have been draws, draws yeah. <laughs> and if you look at who they're drawing with um Liverpool it's not no fucking idiot teams blood Liverpool away at Tottenham um like Zar said Liverpool at home you get me D this ain't no you understand Chelsea and this is a and this is a West London derby you know this yeah. is not just a London Hello. derby this is a West London same, derby. This same, is like Arsenal same Tottenham. Area. Same area. Yep. You get me? It's like 15, 20 minutes between the two stadiums, I think. But um, Fulham have uh, won just one of their 28 Premier League matches against Chelsea. Uh, drawing 10, losing 17. Winning 1-0 in March 2006 under Chris Coleman at Craven Cottage. In all competitions, Chelsea have just lost one of their last 19 away matches against Fulham. 12 wins, 6 draws. Losing f since losing 4 in a row between 1975 and 1977. Among the 373 fixtures to have been played at least 50 times in the English top flight, the lowest win percentage by a team against a an opponent is Fulham versus Chelsea, 6%. With the Cottagers winning just 3 of their 50 games against the Blues. Fulham's 1-1 draw with Spurs last time out ended a run of 13 consecutive Premier League defeats in London derbies. They last avoided defeat in back-to-back -back such games during a run of three wins between January and April 2013. And finally, Chelsea have lost four of their last six Premier League games. One win, one draw. As many as they had in their previous 23 in the competition. Uh, winning 14 and drawing five. Um, the statistics and stats point to a draw. To a draw, yeah. Um, I personally think Chelsea win. Chelsea, Chelsea wins it. I and you you asked if he loses the mm. the Lampard question. Does mm. he get fired? If it was any other manager at Chelsea, they sat Jose. Yes, Jose made Jose gave them history. But but Jose, it, I feel like I feel like Jose Mourinho and Jose and made Lampard, Lampard on crud. He put Lampard on crud. That that is true. But Ho Jose's Jose's Jose's, I feel like his personality his personality makes that decision easier. His type of personality and also how how the fans. I mean, Lampard's a god to the Chelsea fans. Lampard is a god to the Chelsea fans. I don't know how. That's why a lot of them haven't. To, 
That's why a lot of them feel, f- uh, find it hard to kind of to go Lampard out because of what he did yeah. as a player. But what you have to do is you have is to take, block that out take the player away from the manager. Done being the a player. player done this for me. What is the manager doing for me? Like, you understand? Shout out Sister Act. What have you done for me lately? Du, 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 du. Ooh, ooh, yeah. You understand? Back in the habit, blood. Back in the habit. You understand? Real shit. And what, what has he done for Chelsea, bro? He lost them the um, FA Cup final. You understand? Mm-hmm. Like, he's got them in ninth at the moment. Right there. And it's, Top four is looking very difficult. Is he gonna get? To, is he gonna get top four this year? Any other man would have been fired if he loses this next game. Mm. I feel like Lampard is gonna be given as long of a leash as. So you think Abramovich? There's a saying in England: "I give you enough rope to hang yourself." Yep. So he, you think he's gonna give him enough yep, rope to hang himself? Keep, he's gonna keep giving him enough enough rope for him to hang himself, mm. and he, he's gonna he's gonna try and make Lampard. Make that decision for mm-hmm. him, making it easier for him. I feel mm-hmm. he's he's not going to fire him too early. But you're going for a Chelsea win. Chelsea this one? win. Yep. Yeah. So am I. And um, going to just go through two games real quick as well. Um, Tottenham. Um, after that, uh, terrible draw. They travelled to Sheffield United. Now Sheffield United got their first win of the Premier League campaign. They are now up to five points, uh, three behind. West Brom, but West Brom do have a game in hand. Um, it's got to be Tottenham all day. Yeah. I'll give you the stats though. Um, Sheffield United have Sheffield United have lost just two of their last eleven top flight matches against Spurs. Mm-hmm. Uh, five wins, four draws, avoiding avoiding defeat in both matches last season. One win and one draw. Spurs are winless in their last seven away Premier League matches against Sheffield United. Three draws and four defeats since a 2-1 win in December 1975. Sheffield United have won consecutive games in all competitions after going 21 matches without a win beforehand. Three draws, 18 losses. After scoring 13 goals and winning their first four away league games this season, Spurs are winless in their last four on the road. Three draws and one defeat. Netting just three goals in that run. And finally, the other two teams to go as many as 17 games winless from the start of a top flight season. Burnley Burnley in 1889 and Bolton Bolton. in 1902. Both registered back-to-back wins after their first games of their seasons. As Sheffield United could achieve here. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. I'm going for Sheffield United. Win. Nah, it's not going to happen. I'm going uh, as much as it hurts. I'm going to have to be a realist here. I'm being a realist. I'm, not, I'm going one no Sheffield United. I'm not. I'm not supporting. I'm not supporting them. But I'm. I'm, I'm just going to have to go to go for Tottenham on that one. I think. Man City chasing their eighth win in a row. Entertain Palace. Now Palace will be bouncing with hella confidence going into that game. Um, obviously, the nil-nil draw with us. But City, Palace caused them problems, you know, dog. Hardest team on the block, though. And Palace, yeah, are probably... Palace are the away team that you don't want to play. Like, Roy Hodgson is an away is an away day manager, blood. He's not a home manager. I think Arteta as well is an away day manager. I think Arteta is better. I think, his, I think his tactics are suited better. Away for from away home games. than home. You know what? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start actually paying attention to that. Looking at it that way, the mm. away versus away versus thing. Mm. But on this one, ah, this is this is. I mean, the hottest team, hottest team on the block, bro. I mean, seven in a row. You get me? Um, here we go. Stats coming up, man. Man City have won six of their ten Premier League games against Crystal Palace, uh, drawing three and losing one. Though they are winless in their last two. A draw and a defeat. Crystal Palace have lost 12 of their last 16 matches against Man City. Um, Only getting, obviously, two wins and two draws. The home team hasn't won any of the last five Premier League matches between Man City and Crystal Palace. Two draws, three defeats. Since a 5-0 win for City 
at the Etihad in September 2017. Man City haven't won any of their last... One minute. Man City haven't won any of their last two home league matches against Crystal Palace. One draw, one defeat. In Pep Guardiola's league managerial career, he has never failed to win in three consecutive home matches against an opponent. And finally, Crystal Palace are looking to become the first team to win away against both Manchester clubs, City and United, in a single Premier League season since Liverpool in 2008-2009. The last London club to do so in the top flight were... Us? In 1990. Let's go. I was hoping it was going to be us. <laughs> I thought it was a trick question. I was like, wait. Of course it's us. Fucking yeah. Chelsea and Tottenham ain't got no fucking when history. City, when City. The man ain't got no fucking history, blood. When did they but like I said to you, this, you get me? <clears throat> City are the form team. Shit, they did. Mm -hmm. One. I, was mm -hmm. looking, I was looking, sorry, I was looking for the United result. Bro, game. last year, Three, was the, last year was the Townsend goal. Damn. The volley. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. That we, was yeah, last we spoke, year. We spoke about it on the On, on the, the stream, on the yeah. When we I said don't give him stream. space because you can let them off, Spoke like. about it on the stream. City are the form team. City are on fire right now. Yeah. But the one team they don't want to see... Palace. Is Palace, bro. You think Palace can do it? Not this one. Yeah. I think... Because Pep's never... Pep's never um, lost three... Uh, um, not one. Like, from two. Mm -hmm. And then the third is one. So he might have drew lost and then the third is one. It's not been free without a win. So I'm going for it. I'm going. Yeah, no. But I think it will be, like I said to you, the Brighton game, you was like, they're going to smoke Brighton. I said to you, bro, it's going to be tight. I said to you, maybe 2-0. Close. And it was 1-0. 1-0. This. There's another close one. 3-1. But people will say, oh, 3-1. But it's going to be like, it's going to be 2-1. Late on. Late. City, Br uh, Palace are coming. Sterling does the mad thing. I don't know Aguero or, <laughs> or Jesus or, or Jesus or, or, or Silva me, the Bro Foden well, he's Foden. on fucking fire yeah, right yeah, now yeah, yeah. you get me yeah. but yeah I think it'll be a tight game blood um, and yeah that's that's all the that's all the big hitters blood um, obviously there is a um, Midlands derby Wolves taking on West Brom, West Brom. Um, big up my brother Callum but I'm gonna have to go for Wolves Leeds taking on Brighton. Um, if Leeds win, um, they, they they hop us, right? They hop they us. They hop us. If I, I think. But um, it's fuckery as well because if we beat Newcastle, we hop back. We hop. We hop back again. But they'll have a game in hand. Bro, wait. If oh no, that's okay. So that's mm -hmm. Wolves. Wolves too. If Wolves win, if Wolves win, they. Mm -hmm. We're in quite the spot. Mm -hmm. It is. Hold it on, is peak, bro. But yeah, Leeds, Brighton. Um, I'll probably go for a draw in that. Um, Leicester, Southampton. That should be a good game still. That should be a good one, people. Um, I'll probably go. I'll go. I'll go Southampton. So on uh, the... And against Leicester? Ooh. Yeah, I'll go Southampton. Ooh. I'll go Southampton. That's going to be a good game. Yeah, good game, man. I'm going to go with, uh, with with Leicester on Leicester. that one. And then and finally... Yeah. And then finally, West Ham, Burnley. Uh, Burnley unlucky to lose against United. Uh, West Ham... Um, West, ba West Ham fucking didn't even play, blood. Their last game was um, FA Cup, third round. They beat Stockport 1-0. To go through Rona, to the fourth round. Rona cancellation. Yeah. We've been drawn against Shrewsbury. Shrew yeah, it's the winner of Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury Southampton. Or Southampton, Southampton, isn't Southampton, it? yeah, I believe. Shrewsbury, Southampton, Shrewsbury Town. And so way in it. Shit, I forgot that. That's what I... I forgot where it's... I think it is a way. I think we are the way if a... It's not even in the fixtures. Fourth yeah, I think it's a way anyway. Uh, I think it is a way still. Where the hell is it coming from? But... Yeah, man. That's another at people. You get me? There's your review of the midweek fixtures. There's your preview for the weekend fixtures. You get me? We got everyone that tuned in. We understand. We will be back again on Monday for the watch along. Same time as the watch along for Newcastle. Today. 
So 2.30, we'll be, we will be going live. Um, kickoff 3 p.m. Eastern time, kickoff midday. Western time, kickoff UK, 8 p.m. Um, live stream start, like I said, um, Eastern time, 2.30, Western time, 12.30. No, 11.30. No, 11 11 and then 7.30 um, for the UK. Big up my brother, Zah, as usual. Thank you. Big up yourself, troops. Every week. Big up the people in for listening. Big up my brother Jets on the buttons. Keeping it wavy. And like I say every fucking week, people. Stay safe. And wash them fucking hands, blood.